Hello friends, welcome to Shiva Academy. This video series is mainly to address the questions and the comments that I am receiving through comments section or through the mail. In case if the question need a much detailed explanation, I will post it as a separate video and I will add it to the respective playlist. As a continuation of that, in this video we will see another interesting question. See the question is, suppose if you open and started working on a cursor and in between if someone else deleted the uh, records of the underlying base table from where the cursor has actually fetched the records then what will happen to the selected records of the cursor okay so let us understand this by two different example see in fact uh, you can follow a similar approach what i whatever i am going to show now to test all the multi session related uh, testings something like uh, wherever there are like two sessions involved and one session will try to select another session will try to delete and have not committed or have committed and the first, first session is trying to again do an update so these kind of multi-session lock related stuff you can follow a similar ap approach to test and understand by yourself i'll just show you for this scenario it's easy for you to understand and apply a similar functionality wherever you want whenever you are working on like a multi-session related questions fine so let us understand here let us start with our employee table so as as we know that here is a employee table which con contains all the information about employee and here is a simple cursor okay so which is just going to select all the information or all the employee who is working in department 20 fine the moment the cursor opens that is the moment open cursor statement gets executed all the information or all the employees who is working in department 20 will be loaded into the memory location fine so here is one record here is another record so all these information will be selected and loaded into a memory location so once it is loaded into the cursor memory location by default the cursor pointer will point to the first row of the memory location and whenever you are fetches the information from the cursor the pointer will start keeping uh, start keep going down till end of the record once it reaches the end of the record you can check whether it reached the end or not then you can exit out of the cursor so this is the basic functionality of the cursor but the question here is after opening the cursor suppose the open statement get executed the information are loaded into the memory and the cursor is pointing to the first row of the memory location now if someone else goes and deletes the information from the base table let us assume that all these things are happening in a session one now let us assume at this point the cursor has already opened now if someone else connected to another session and try to delete the record so at this point uh, another user has connected to a session 2 and he is just doing delete the uh, record from employee as you can see here he del deleted all the employees who is working in the department 20. So all these records will get deleted that is all the employee who is working in department 20 will get deleted right and he commits also. Now if the session 1 try to fetch the information from the cursor what typically will happen okay uh, theoretically what will happen here is that since the cursor is pointing to the memory location of the <coughs> memory location it's not the base table cursor is reading from the location where it actually loaded the data right since the data is already loaded so this fetch operation will basically fetches the information from the memory location only it will not fetch from the underlying base table so here what will happen is that even if someone else deleted the underlying base table after opening the cursor the cursor will still be able to read the information from the memory location so the dbms output will still print the information from here so this is what will happen typically uh, even if you delete the underlying base table let me just show you practically now there is one more scenario i'm just going to show you after this that is little bit more tricky but you just need to understand this scenario first fine now let us see practically what will happen here okay so here is the uh, same cursor uh, example i've just selected the information from depart from employee who are working in department 20 first let me just execute and show you the result see as you can uh, see all the in, uh, employees who is working in department 20 are getting listed by this program perfectly fine now what i'm going to do i'm just going to connect to another session let me now connect through an sql plus so i've just connect I've just connected to SQL plus here. Okay. I'm just connected to the same user. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to introduce a sleep time here. Log dot sleep. Let us, let us make this program to sleep for 20 seconds. 
let us make this program to sleep for 20 seconds so what what i am going to do after opening i am just going to make this program to sleep for 20 seconds so within this 20 seconds i am just going to connect to another session and i am going, going to delete the records of the employee who is working in department 20 so that after deletion we will be able to see whether this fetch operation is fetching and displaying the information or not fine so let me just execute this program now the program is getting executed as you can see here now it is just going and sleeping because we just put a, a 20 second so in the meantime i am just going to delete the employees delete from employee let me delete all the record delete from emp commit yeah now i have deleted all the 14 record but if you can see here even after deleting all the record it is still fetching and showing the information from the cursor that is because the cursor is reading the information from the cursor's memory location it's not from the underlying base table because even before deleting the record from session 2 the cursor has already opened and loaded those information into a memory location i hope this example is clear right fine with this understanding we'll see one more scenario okay now we are going to see our second scenario as little bit different from the first scenario okay so it, it's also almost similar so we are just going to select the information from an employee and here now we are going to select the information from a department 10 i'm just opening this cursor here okay let us understand this at this time we are just going to introduce a sleep so that uh, at this point we will, can go and truncate the employee table now what happens is that whenever you just open the cursor the cursor typically will load all the information who is working in department 10 as you can see here there is one employee second employee in 10 third employee so all these three records are loaded into memory location that is the employee numbers in fact i've just selected only the employee numbers that's why i'm just mentioning only the employee number here fine now that we have just opened the cursor the cursor's memory location is also loaded with the employee uh, number so at this stage let us assume that the another session in fact this cursor is this cursor's execution is happening in session one let us assume that in second session someone is just going and deleting the uh, employee who is working in department 10 right so all these records will get deleted whoever is working in department 10 fine that means this just goes and deletes the base table obviously we will not be able to do anything for the cursor's memory location but the, the base table records are got deleted all these three records are deleted in the base table let us assume within the loop if you are trying to update the employee for that particular employee so whatever the employee you have selected here you are trying to update into the underlying base table now what will happen because the second session has already deleted the employee from underlying base table now let us see what will happen so now what i am going to do since i have already let it deleted all the record let me let me just ins let me first select it anyway we don't have any records right now let me just populate my employee table from my backup table so that we'll get all this record okay and now i got all the record in the employee table first let me just confirm it yeah now we have all the records in the employee table fine now so before uh, introducing a sleep or without a second session involved in this example first let us just execute and show you so what i'm going to do i'm just se selecting all the information from employee 10 and i'm opening the cursor for each employee number from the cursor location i'm going to update the salary into 10,000. that means for all the three employees we are just going to update the salary after this i just put a dbms statement here just for you to show how many rows are actually updated by this update statement okay so that we'll get to know whether the update statement is actually updating or is it not updating any record fine first let me just execute without any second session involvement so that we'll understand better as you can see here now it is just going through and fetching all the information for all the three record it is just going and updating the salary right it is fetching the first employee updating the salary so same way it is fetching the second employee and updating the salary 
to to print how many number of rows i am updating i am just using the implicit cursor attribute because this update statement is just going to get executed by implicit cursor to know how many records are uh, it's getting updated i am using sql percentage row count in fact i have explained in detail about all these uh, cursor attributes in one of the cursor interview question so i would suggest you just watch through that fine now that we know it is just fetching the information and updating the base table now what i am going to do I'm just going to introduce a sleep time here. Let us introduce for 25, let it be, or 30 second. Introduce a sleep for 30 seconds. So in the meantime, we are just going to go and delete all the employees from the employee table. Fine. So now the program is getting executed. In the meantime, from the another session, let us delete all the record. I'm just committing. Now, if you see, we have actually deleted all the records from another session. And in fact, we have committed the records also. That means the base table doesn't have any record. Whereas the first session, we, are, we have already fetched the information into a memory location. Now we are going to go through and loop through to fetch each and every employee number. Now we are going to do an update on the base table. Now, if you see, the cursor is actually fetching the information, right? Because the cursor was opened before the delete statement gets executed. So that is why this DBMS output, that is, that is the DBMS output statement at line number 15 is printing the employee number. Whereas the update statement, it is not able to update because the records are already deleted by the session two, right? So that is why this uh, number of statement or number of rows affected by this update statement is zero because these rows were already deleted so this is the one uh, typical issue whenever you are working with the uh, cursor the two in a multi-user environment okay there are there are many ways to avoid or uh, to handle this a uh, typical uses like whenever you start working on a cursor for example in this case suppose you are selecting some information and you are just going to use this information to update your base table but if you don't want anyone else to delete in the meantime because in this case what happens is that somebody else is going and deleting the record but if you don't want anyone else to go and delete in the meantime in fact you can use an another class called for update here okay the moment you use a for update it will log these records it will not allow anyone else to log in and delete it okay so this for update and there is another class called where current of class so these two classes I will explain in the next cursor interview question. I hope you would have learned something new. Uh, if yes, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. Uh, please post your comments or questions in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video.